Hey everybody, my name is Tim and welcome to your Kofi Break. In this interview, I have the privilege of talking with Christina Pepper, a successful YouTube musician with over 4,000 subscribers and growing who found unique ways to engage with her community on Kofi and offer some really amazing commissions. So let's go learn a little bit more about how a musician can earn an income on Kofi. Let's learn a little bit more about what you do, what what's your craft, and how you got started. I'm a pianist. I've been playing piano my whole life. I've been on YouTube since 2010, and it, that started out just kind of as a fun thing for me to do. I would just upload periodically. And then in 2018, I started uploading accompaniment tracks for musicians to practice with, like specifically vocal, classical, rep. And that's kind of a niche that was missing on YouTube, there isn't really karaoke for classical music, largely, especially before the pandemic. So I started seriously uploading a lot of music like that for people to use. And that's that's when I found Kofi, when I was kind of looking for a way to have a tip jar so people could say, hey, I used your accompaniment track. Um, I'd like to leave you a little tip for, you know, just making this freely available. And being on YouTube, I know you have a ton of views. Has that been a source of income for you? Or is it just, you know, obviously YouTube doesn't give creators a whole lot. Is it, does you have that same experience? It's, there's a little bit of ad revenue, but largely it's just kind of a little extra every month. Um, I didn't even monetize my channel until I think it was 2019. So it's a nice little extra amount each month. But what I've been making on Kofi actually far surpasses what I've made on YouTube. Oh, absolutely. I think especially on, on my podcast, I have, you know, dynamic ads where they give you just a couple pennies for everyone that listens to you. But Kofi is where the the true supporters and the fans of your work can really give you a chance to say, hey, you know, great job. I like this. Here's, here's a couple bucks because even... Even just yeah. a few dollars makes a difference. Why don't we talk a little bit about some of the critical features on Kofi that you've taken mm -hmm. advantage of as a musician and what you think has made the biggest impact on Kofi as a whole for you generating income? I'd say for me personally, the commissions have been just absolutely huge. When I started posting these accompaniment tracks on YouTube, I thought that these are highly subjective you know one person to another is not going to sing them the same way exactly they might want to take more time in certain places or hold that high note at the end maybe a little bit longer or something like that so i thought if i could create custom recorded tracks for people those people who maybe found my track on youtube and liked it but maybe want to change a couple of things about it could commission me to record and that has been incredible being able to to do that for people i've had a lot of success recording just personalized accompaniment tracks for for singers that's that's great i found that a lot of people doing commissions it's that personal touch you can give somebody mm -hmm. you doing personal accompaniments with being able to make changes or illustrators do custom items to make an anime character that's Yes. like the person that's commissioning. So you can do a lot of fun things. And I think a lot of creators on Kofi have some fantastic commissions that give it a real personal touch to make it truly unique. And that's, one of that's my, a lot of fun. One of my favorite things is just to go on Kofi and look at what other people have commissioned because they, yeah. they're just some really fun ideas. And I'm like, I would never have thought of that. And just really, really cool things that and you never know what someone else is going to be looking for either. So if you, you know, oh, yeah. just putting it out there and letting the people come to you, I think it's just, I, I love being able to do that. All these hidden gems, things that you would never find mm -hmm. otherwise, but Kofi makes it great, really easy to search new creators and find some really, really cool artists out there. Yeah, absolutely. So let's, let's talk a little bit about some of the other features you've used besides commissions. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously we have crowdfunding and, and stores. And I saw that your page itself has a lot of your sheet music out on the store, right? Yes, I have some audio downloads, like singles, and I also have a little album on there. And then I have some sheet music of different arrangements for things that I've arranged for piano. And those have done reasonably well. I've I had a lot of success with the crowdfunding option as well. My shop is more stickers and things like that. I don't have a mm -hmm. lot of tangible items for somebody. Right. But the crowdfunding goal I found with, with my podcast really helpful 
uh, especially when raising uh, donations or even just kind of just making ends meet because we have obviously monthly costs to host and produce the show. Just putting that crowdfunding goal out there has helped us people see that and want to help us achieve it. So it's it's definitely a very powerful tool and something I recommend every user of Kofi. Doesn't matter what you're doing or who you are, create some goal that's meaningful to you. Yes. Because people will see that and they want to help. Absolutely. I, I agree 100%. Even if it's something small, you could make it something like, I want to pay my piano tuner or something like that. You know, That's a great goal. Anyone that's out there creating, if you don't have a crowdfunding goal, make sure to set one up. Yes. So how has Kofi made it easier for you to engage with some of the listeners or, or fans of your work? I try to post pretty much every new video that I upload to YouTube onto my Kofi feed, just so everyone that visits my page sees that I'm active on there. And I try to mention in all of my videos as well, the commission option, like I mentioned, so that everyone that watches a video knows that that is an option. And that is the mm -hmm. biggest way that I've been able to connect with people. And when they see that my crowdfunding goal is pretty much always going to go towards improving my, my setup, like recording or audio gear, camera or something like that. All of it is going towards improving what I do. And I try to make sure it's reflected and they can see the actual improvement happening when they contribute. I think a lot of us were, you know, kind of bootstrapping this effort, you know, yeah. and starting out with what we have. And over time, if we can generate income, especially through Kofi, we can upgrade our gear and you can really beef up your whole setup. Like I, all the equipment that I have for the podcast is a result of Kofi and people listening mm -hmm. and supporting. Um, I just, the very first episode we did, I just went out and bought a microphone off of Facebook marketplace and the four of us sat on a broken card table and recorded oh. on a single mic. <laughs> Now we all have our own yeah. microphones. We have software and technology and we yeah, almost awesome. sound professional. <laughs> so. Yeah, you don't have to go back terribly far in my videos to see, oh, wow, they've already come quite a long way in just a year or two years. Like the, yeah. the difference is hugely significant. So what other kind of advice would you give musicians that might be thinking about Kofi or maybe maybe haven't thought of Kofi before, but what, what did you learn along your journey that you can really take advantage of on this platform? The biggest thing for me was when I was looking at options, I of course looked at Patreon because that's the biggest platform out there. But to me, it, it didn't work because I didn't have enough people that were interested in following me. I don't, I didn't have a big like Twitter account or anything like that. So there was no way I was going to be able to say, hey, my Patreon's open. It would have been so sad and hard to get started on there. Whereas Kofi is just like, hey, it's very low pressure. It's very friendly and welcoming. People can just stop by. They can browse through your feed and see what you're up to. And then mm -hmm. just click a little, you know, one little coffee tip if they feel like, you know, that's that's easy. That's no pressure. I don't, I'm not obligated to sign up for anything. I don't have to do a Great. monthly subscription of some kind if I don't want to. So for me, that was the biggest bonus to having Kofi available. It's easy, it's friendly, and it's low pressure for anyone that just wants to check out what you're doing. Plus with with Kofi, having zero fees on accepting donations is incredible. Yes, that's one of the reasons huge. why I went here, you know, because all of us, we're, we're creatives and we're doing this, a lot of this stuff just because we're passionate about it. And if you're looking to raise any type of revenue, donations or tips or otherwise, you'd hope that if somebody's going to give you $3, you get as much of that donation as possible. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these sites out there, they, they skim it percentage points off here, a couple cents here. And that kind of stuff adds up for us little yes. people. It's it's pennies to, you know, obviously PayPal will always try to dip their hands in things. But when Kofi's approach of making sure that any donations go to you, uh, that's mm -hmm. what sold me. And I, I fell in love with the platform. Just being able to see that someone bought me a coffee and then I could go get that money immediately if I needed to. You know, it's exactly it's great. Any final thoughts or things you'd like to share about this platform that creatives might want to consider when they get going? I'd say, like I, I did mention it earlier, but if you have an idea, just 
put it out there. Like you don't know what other people are going to be looking for. You know, be creative with the, the the shop and the commissions. And you know, I've, I like I said, I've seen some really cool, interesting ideas that I would never have thought of. And I'm sure there are other people who have great ideas, and it doesn't cost you anything to just put those ideas out there and see what comes of it. Yeah, exactly. And because you can sign up with Kofi for free. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just start. You know, you can always build it up over time. Yeah. You can start from somewhere. You can start collaborating and talking with other creatives and work together. So, just the first step is to just start and maybe get some ideas from other people and and see where it takes you. It's just, you never know until you try. Well, Christina, thank you so much for joining. This has been great. Love learning a little bit about your history. And I got a chance to check out some of your music, which was fantastic. And I, oh, I can't you. wait to see where you go. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel to see more content. And of course, go subscribe to Christina and also follow her on Ko-fi and check out everything that she's doing. So again, Christina, thanks so much. And we'll see you thank soon. Thank you.